Hello, it's Jay here again and welcome to another tutorial. In this video, all we're going to be doing is duplicating the damage effects from the opponent health to the play one script. So we've already gone through this in depth. So I'm not going to waste too much time actually going over things again. We're just going to move code. Um, <clears throat> So, it's just something we've got to get out of the way. So, let's do that now. So, as you can see, I've got the opponent health and the play one script open. And we'll just copy everything in the variables. And from just below is opponent defeated and just... All the rest that's and we'll copy those and we'll just paste this in to the player so let's have a look and we'll just change anywhere that says opponent to player so I think it's just when we have the health halved and one quarter. So we'll quickly change those. And let's come back. And we're going to have a look at the void start. So again just everything after the is opponent defeated equals false let's copy all of that and again we'll just paste that in we'll just need to swap out um these naming conventions so we'll do the half first and then the one quarter and we want the maximum player health so let's just copy that and we'll just paste it over those two and again just change to player in the comments So let's come now <clears throat> to the actual testing part of the void update. So we'll change this to equal 49 and then one quarter. So let's just, in fact, we can copy everything. from 49 below and I'm just going to paste over where it says minimum health <clears throat> so let's have a look we've got one more close brackets than we need we'll change this area to current player and here as well oh and we also need to change that to P so I'll just save that off there and now we're going to scroll through and of course We are going to copy from the damage effects all the way down, including the other functions. 
So sparks time and sparks position functions. Let's copy those in. So let's just come back and So damage effects, we need to copy this line into the void update. I'm just going to put it again at the very top. <clears throat> I'm just going to change the name of this function to player one damage effects. So let's do that there. There's not a lot we need to change. It's just the current health and the health halved and one quarter. We just need to change the naming convention. So let's have a look. So let's just come down. So we're just going to do the current player health over opponent to begin with. So these are all the ones that are the beginning of the lines with the red errors <clears throat> and now we have opponent health halved and one quarter so they need to become player health halved and player health one quarter so let's do the one quarter one first seeing as that's the next one that comes up And we just have that final one for if the player health is halved. So let's just save that off there. I'm not going to test it out in this lesson because we tested it out when we did the opponent. We know the code works. And I do want to do... Um, <clears throat> Quickly move on to getting some other things copied over from player to opponent and vice versa. And then we'll test everything out all at once. But um, yeah, I've got a lot of stuff that I need to get done. So I'm actually going to come into the opponent health. I'll change this to opponent damage effects. And I'll just switch it out here. And we'll leave it there for this video. So just a quick one, just to get this out of the way. Of course, we've set it all up for the opponent. It's just a case of duplicating that for the player. And then in the next video, we can move on to something different. And as I say, when we get a few more little bits in place, we'll test it all out again so you can see everything working all at once. So, as always, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I hope to see you next time. And until then, as always, bye for now.